Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to use intensity functional perturbation theory to calculate the phonon eigenfrequency at gamma point of silicon crystal. And in the process, I will calculate the dielectric constant and the first order Raman peak. So this is the reference dispersion relation for the phonon um, of a silicon crystal. And uh, in this video, I will not show you how to calculate the full dispersion, but uh, in the in the uh, following tutorial, I will show you how to do that. And um, so today, I will focus on the gamma point, which is Q equals zero point. And you you see that there are two uh, frequencies here, but in principle, there are six eigen modes because you have two uh, two atoms in one unit cell. And um, and also you can see from here that the dege degeneracy is lifted uh, for for uh, at those uh, low symmetry points, but at gamma point it is very high symmetry. So in the end you have three uh, degenerate point uh, for the acoustic branch, and three degenerate point of the for for the optical branch, and for um, for each branch you have uh, two transversal mode and one longitudinal mode. Okay, so in the output of the of this calculation, I I expect to see six modes, but three of them has uh, has nearly zero. Uh, frequency and three of them having uh, around 15 terahertz frequency. Uh, for, for the Raman, for the first order Raman peak, um, it, it, it is actually uh, directly this um, optical mode at gamma point. The reason is that for a Raman spectroscopy, you use uh, something like a visible light as a probe. And then, uh, and then the Raman shift is is directly the uh, the inelastic process um, involving uh, some emission of phonon or absorption of phonon. So, um, so in this in this process, there there is k uh, uh, there is k conservation and energy conservation. For visible uh, for visible photon, the the k uh, k value is usually negligible, but energy is very large. So, so if you emit a phonon or um, absorb a phonon, um, it will only happen at around uh, gamma point. Yeah, so that's why for for Raman spectroscopy, the f the first order Raman peak that is the usually the strongest um, happens at uh, gamma point, and it, it is the directly is directly the optical phonon, and uh, basically if you Translate this uh, 15 terahertz to uh, to another unit that is one over centimeter, which is usually used in spectroscopy. You can get uh, 520 one over centimeter. So in this calculation, I will calculate the dielectric constant and also the first order Raman peak and also the eigen modes and compare it with the reference and see what is the error bar. So um, the first thing to do is to do a self-consistency calculation. This is just a pw.x calculation that we usually do before. Uh, uh, and it's a single point calculation to calculate the wave function. Now, one thing that, um, that I suggest you to do is, is to lower the convergence threshold, because this will uh, make the phonon calculation more precise. Yeah. And another thing is that um, another trick that you can do is to add one 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 after the k points, because then it is uh, shifted uh, for half a brillion zone, and um, and this will be helpful. I mean, this will help a little bit if the k point uh, density is not so high. Yeah. Um, but in principle, you could just set it to be zero zero zero, or you can increase the k point density. And that's that's also uh, give you a similar result. Okay, so then we can do the calculation on two cores, and use pw.x. Okay, so this should be quick because it's just a single point calculation. Okay, and then the second step is to use another 
another subprogram of Quantum Espresso, which is called ph.x. So the input file is a little bit different. Um, the first line is a title line, so it doesn't matter what you write there, it will not be uh, calculated. And starting from here, this is the first name card, starting with input ph, and ending with a uh, slash here. Yeah. And uh, you need to set the, those two lines the same as the self-consistency calcul uh, calculation here. Because uh, for the phonon calculation, it needs to retrieve the wave function from the previous calculation. So the output directory and the prefix should be the same. And um, this is the convergence for the phonon. The lower the convergence, the more precise the result will be. You know? And uh, for this, this means uh, to calculate the dielectric constant. So this is epsilon. You know? If you set epsilon to be true, it will output the dielectric constant. Remember that uh, you shouldn't set it to be true if you don't have a gamma, uh, gamma point calculation or you you don't uh, you have a metal yeah because uh, it doesn't make sense to calculate the dielectric constant for a metal okay and uh, and this is the atomic mass if you don't specify this line it will automatically use the one that you specified in the self consistency input file yeah so that's also okay and this is the output file for the uh, dynamic matrix which uh, in this calculation like today we will not use it but um, but you can yeah so so you can leave it out for today, and then after this this name card you have the zero zero zero. This means that um, this specifies the Q points, and uh, which means that this is a gamma point calculation. There's only one Q point. Okay, and we save the file, and then we do the calculation. Remember to change it to be ph dot x. And um, and usually this will take longer. Okay, but since this is a gamma point calculation, so it should be uh, still quite fast. In the in the next video, I will show you how to do a, f a calculation of phonon density of state and also phonon dispersion, where you need to calculate. Uh, a, a, like different Q points or a lot of Q points and then the calculation would be quite slow okay so as, as you remember if you want to check what's going on you want to update the, uh, the output file uh, you can go to the go to the folder and use tail minus F and uh, out and then it will show you everything in real time okay so the uh, calculation is done and you can also see here it's done and let's take a look in the output file and we start from the end and you see that indeed we have six eigen modes, yeah, and three of them are around zero, and three of them around fifteen terahertz. That's what we expected. So the first three line here, they are ac uh, acoustic phonons. That's why it's around zero, and the three here are optical phonons. Yeah, so we can write uh, this number here. So this is the first order Raman frequency, Raman peak, and you see that it is very close to, to the reference with only a uh, five percent error bar. Yes, and then for the dielectric constant, you see here, it's around thirteen point two two, and the error bar is around thirteen percent, so that's also okay. Okay, so in this tutorial, I have shown you how to uh, calculate phonon eigen frequency at the gamma point, and in the next video, I will show you how to um, how to calculate uh, phonon eigen frequency for a 
Q grid and calculate the uh, full known density of state from that. Okay, so thank you for watching. If you like my video, please uh, press like or subscribe to my channel. And I thank you for watching.